well, it's a new engine, and uh, it uses, besides the uh, known principles of internal combustion and turbo machinery, shock waves to transmit uh, energy from com uh, from expansion to compression and reducing significantly the parts and inertia of existing engines, and with this production cost and weight. And on top of this, it realizes a most efficient cycle, the so-called Humphrey cycle, which is a Brighton cycle enhanced by confined combustion, where we get additional uh, efficiency gains already, just by theory, not even knowing which kind of engine is doing it. Mm -hmm. Well, it's lighter than an IC engine, uh, it's smaller, and it's cheaper to produce, because that's all you need to produce. There's no valve trains, there's no overheads, there's no radiator, and all these things, and no water cycle. It's pretty easy and simple. You only connect a generator on the back, which we call pot size generator, and that would be the, basically be the engine which drives your full utility vehicle. You would have some batteries uh, to compensate for higher power consumption when you want to overtake somebody or going up the hill for a while. That's regular in a hybrid car, uh, but with regenerative braking and in a series hybrid car, where this always operates at most efficient operating point, uh, that's where you get the best uh, effect out of it, the highest reduction in fuel consumption and uh, lowest emissions. And that's what we hope to see on the road, let's say, later than three years from today. Much less fuel consumption, we say like 3.5 time, uh, times less uh, fuel consumption than current hybrid cars, or five times less than current regular SUVs or so. And with this already a steep reduction in emissions, a huge uh, extension in driving range because you come five or 3.5 times further, and even if you would use the same tank compressed natural gas in there, like your gasoline tank is right now, you might even go far further than you go today with your gasoline tank. Uh, and with this, emissions reduced dramatically or using compressed natural gas, already emissions are less, and then using only one-fifth of this, it just goes down to almost nothing. So that's why it's easy to say 90% of emissions or CO2 emissions are reduced already. And by some principles internally, NOx emissions would go down, or using clean fuels or even hydrogen, I mean, basically no pollutants would come out of it. Well, the grant is really there to make what I have in my hand putting it on the test stand and have a generator here and produce like 25 kilowatts which would be sufficient to drive a full electric hybrid SUV or a utility vehicle. Uh, that's what we want to do, we are committed to do within the next two years. And I want to see you in three years driving this full or hybrid electric vehicle with this engine in here.